welcome back to Garth Loves Travel. I am super excited today and I want to thank each and every one of you guys that have subscribed to my channel from the beginning. As you know, this channel was started as my appreciation for cars, especially Porsches, because I am into 911s. But this channel has morphed into me showing you guys around Sweden and showing you all the beauty that Sweden has to offer. Oh, yeah, there we are, guys. Oh, all the kids here from all over uh, enjoyed Sweden. There you go. Hey. There they go, guys. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the vibe we're on today, guys. Super happy vibes, because as I said, I am at 600. I want to thank each and every single one of you guys. Please don't get angry at me because I haven't shouted anyone's names out as of yet. But I want to thank each and every single one of you guys. As you've noticed, every single one of you guys are important to my channel. And I try to reach out to you guys. If you do want to uh, reach out to me privately, you can go to my Instagram, which is Garth Loves Travel. It's the same hand. Handle. Um, I mostly post food videos there and small clips of the travels that I do. So once again, thank you guys for helping me to reach 600 guys. I am really appreciative. The next goal is 1000 and I promise you guys I'm going to bring something, uh, some type of gift, um, you know, for my 1000th uh, subscribers. Uh, it's definitely going to be something worth it. Maybe something in the monetary aspect. But guys, let's there is go. nothing like Stockholm when the sun is out and it's warm. And you can see they're doing a lot of construction over there. I'm not sure what they're building over there, but, um, you know, making the city uh, a better place. So we're going to head further down to the castle. Over there, I think you guys have seen all the boats and things like that. So I'm just going to cross the street over the here. And I want to head into the small streets to give you guys a view of Gamlastan. Because going this way, it's it's not so much as uh, there's much to see other than like... One of the things I wanted to point out that I love about Gamlastan to show you guys how old this place is so really quick you see this building right here right and you see I'll just show it to you from up there and then I'm gonna bring it down but if you look at the corners over here of this building the way like you know it's so old you could see like the stones are actually sinking if you see over here as well it's like side the side of the building is tilted down because it's like sinking i don't know the history of this building but all i know is it's really really old and you could see that also on the opposite side over there so i'm not going to waste much time on that i want to give you guys just views of gamlistan for all you that have never been here i you know i've said this in my previous videos i absolutely love this area like I could live here um, which I'm sure it's really difficult to even find a home here but look at this guys this is all over I mean this is this I mean it looks period correct to me these old window shutters and just this like you know this really old you know like vibe like it's like you're in you could be in rome or paris these old like you know cobblestone streets and you know these small look at it, these small little roads these are built for just wagons and horses you know and this is the oldest part of well from from what i know the oldest part of Stockholm. i'm gonna walk through this there's another small street um i've done a few videos on uh gamblestown before but i wanted to come back down here just to kind of uh Go through it really quick i think you guys remember this square um when i believe we lit the fire but i'm gonna go to the right because i want to get down to the castle because that's going to be the main feature but i'll give you guys a quick view you know of the square so like down here is more like you know why there's so much tourist here and it's still not a lot compared to and maybe another month from now it's going to get crazy i want to show you guys this bridge really quick um this area is definitely like if you come to europe and you want to see like or you come to sweden and you really want to see like what it's like or get that real european vibe you kind of really have to come down to Gamlastan because it's not in the new area that they're developing now because you're not you know that's not what you travel here for but look at this thing <laughs> That is super cool. Oh, look at this building over here. Wow, this is super cool. Guys, Gamlastan is so beautiful. <laughs> like, if I if I could choose and just say if there was a vote to demolish what's 
considered the new Stockholm and keep this as the central of the city, I would vote for Galmastan to be that part of the city. I think it's absolutely one of the most beautiful parts of Sweden. I am walking up to the palace. It's not a castle. I keep on saying palace. I mean castle, but it is a palace. So I am actually quite excited to uh, go to, I want to go to another side of it that I personally haven't been to before and I've passed this castle like, uh, I mean this palace, like I don't even know how many times since I've been here. Uh, I'll give you guys, you've seen this shot before, but I'll bring it to you guys again. You've seen it on my other video. I walked all the way down there where those homes are. Um, so let's head up to the courtyard and I want to give you guys a little bit of history of this place or as much history as I this can This is do. another side of the castle over here. Um, I absolutely love that where you see all the different, I believe these are kings um, that are aligned there as well. And that is the entrance inside the castle. Unfortunately, they're doing renovations, but there's not much you're actually missing right here because it's just an extension of what you see. You know, it just goes straight. You guys like have that. seen this church before. You saw it in the video of when, uh, you know, we were... Um, on the procession to uh, actually light in the fire. And uh, there's also a monument here, as it says, to Gustav III and Gustav, uh, is that the fifth, Adolf? Um, and anyway, guys, I am going to be doing an extended video on, on, on Gustav Vasa because Gustav Vasa was one of the most influential, if not the most influential king in the whole Sweden and is a reason why Sweden is the way it is today by unifying Sweden and reclaiming parts of Sweden from different countries, uh, neighboring countries and making it into the kingdom of Sweden that it is today. Also, the history of this castle right here, guys, I'm going to put a picture of what it was like before this one because I think the castle that was here or the palace that was here before this one was the most beautiful palace ever. If that didn't burn down, this this palace wouldn't be here. And that palace is called Tre Krona Palace. Artist rendition of Tre Krona Palace. And unfortunately, Tre Krona, as you guys will see, would have seen in the picture now, Tre Krona was the most beautiful cast palace that like adorned this whole area. And it burnt down with most of Sweden's history, actually. That was in that palace burnt down with it. So a lot of Swedish history and maybe a lot of monumental things that should have been recorded went up in flames with that palace, which is very, very unfortunate. This is a part of the castle, of the palace that I have never been to or seen this side of it. I've passed here multiple, multiple times. It looks like something is actually going to happen right now. So I am going to take you guys over there. I'm going to walk back out and give you guys another view.
as you just saw, you saw that procession. I believe it was the Swedish Navy and uh, I'm not sure if the other guys in the blue is the army. You guys can comment below. So the beautiful sun is back out now. We got some sprinkles of rain. So this is the wonderful courtyard behind me of the palace so i'm gonna go through that because i've never been to this side I've, i haven't seen that procession either so i'm gonna give you a beautiful shot of this side of the castle here and guys when i tell you and you know i've said this multiple times like when it's summertime in sweden guys it's a majestic time. i mean look at all those uh sculptures in there i'm not sure what those are but this is the courtyard area if you see up there see all those different sculptures all the the i believe those are kings um along the bottom over there again oh wow look at the church as you see the triangle with the sunburst on it i'm sure that's a symbol of something i'm not quite sure what that is so i'm gonna give you guys just a quick walk through since you know it was about over an hour of um that procession of the you know the army or I believe the navy um and here all as well as you can see guys um i mean this is just beautiful i haven't been here as i've said um you see each in there those are uh in um well there's a medusa head over there but i mean for me to go through each of these guys so you can see what they are would i mean this i don't want this video to be long as usual so this would take forever so just take a look um there's a statue in there as well i'm not sure who that is but i'll try to take you guys over oh, there yeah it's the army there's the guy in the army suit um i just love the way this this palace um this side of it i love the side uh the right side the left side the other sides um i i, I you know it's there's no real character to it as opposed to here so on the top there you could see swedish kings that are going along the top up there and it has all the names of them um again before this palace was put here the palace was trey krona and that was i mean if that thing survived the fire it would be one of the most beautiful castles in the world on this spot because the spot where this is sitting as you guys saw in my uh video my last video on gamlestan i mean it's just permeates over the whole entire right, guys, city we're gonna take a walk around um gamlestan i just wanted to kind of come to this area this part of it that i've never been to um i'll give you a shot and again guys this is free this is free they do this every single day during the summer so for you swedes who are here who want to catch up on your history you could just easily come here um, stand behind the ropes i believe you could go on the website it tells you when they do um you know the changing of the guards and the, and they they do all, you know when the navy was there it was a long musical i just decided to do little clips because it would take oh, forever you cannot record inside um this is still where the king this the king uses um you know for state visits and and um important events so you guys could also pause that and uh read that um there's i'll have all the description uh all the uh, a little bit of the history in the description box so guys as i was mentioning before as you see where the sign says down there museum trey kroner and you can see they have an illustration going down and there is the castle um, they they must have, they have a museum of what it used to look like and when it went on fire the story of how it went on fire is really really bizarre look at this beautiful building guys i mean this is just gorgeous i love those bows on the top over there and i love the color of the building i also love this has to be probably some of these buildings are um offices for uh the royal court um and also royal secretaries and things like this that. is one of the things i love about gamla stan you know it makes me it like makes me want to put on like you know one of these like old capes you know and like you know back out in the 18th century and just like walk around with a stick and a pocket watch and <laughs> Look at how this street is guys i mean look at how it just curves and you know like the buildings just curve with it i mean it is one of the most beautiful majestic parts of stockholm oh, look at the shutters i mean 
this is like classic you know leave the countryside and only come here and this would be my view of stockholm it would be perfect so now i'm going to take you guys to another side of gamlestan um, which i you know i think it's the state's building like where the prime minister and stuff uh does they do their meetings and things but look guys let me show you another thing look at that little alleyway up there I mean, <laughs> how close these buildings are together. If you guys saw in the last video, um, I passed here briefly because it's, oh, look at this view, guys, with the bridge over there. That's really, really nice. And that little house over there is really cool as well. Um, I pass it a lot when I'm going to the countryside. I'm not quite sure uh, what they do in that building over there. But yeah, so guys, I actually passed this on the last video that I made. As you can see, once again, there's the side of the castle, which as I was saying to you guys, you know, when you look at the pictures of Trey Krona and you look, of, look at what they've put here, I don't think it is you know as beautiful but it is in its own right very imposing this is where we were just before up there um so this is the parliament building uh this is where like you know prime minister or the congress of sweden as you would say uh conduct their business and then i'm going to walk through here just for you guys and also bring you the prime minister's house so you can see here guys uh you know made out of stone it's pretty nice I love the archways down there. That's really beautiful. These, <laughs> these uh, faces on here, they do not look savory. I mean, guys, look at this one right here. Like, who made that? What were they thinking? Like, it looks like a horror show over there. What, what the hell is that? Wow. Yeah, that, that is, that is, yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know what the symbolism of that is, but that's not cool to me at all um the prime minister's house should be that one over there with the uh, curtains drawn um that's where the prime minister stays or i don't know if he stays there full time but that would that's what they designate as the prime minister's house so for any of you guys who have not been to sweden um this is a view from the bridge outside the parliament building give you a shot of the parliament building which is there absolutely beautiful guys i mean this is like architectural wonder seriously i mean look at the bows all the details in that building is just insane it's like you know you they'll never be able to repeat this type of architecture ever again sorry about the wind guys um you know because it is so intricate and i mean can you imagine what it would cost to build today to move the stones and to uh you know do the the you know the carving and the rocks and things like that just unheard of. look at this shot guys how beautiful that is you know summertime in sweden every people. time i come to gamla stan and i walk around i feel like i haven't spent enough time here or i haven't captured enough because there's so much intricate details on these buildings that it will take me you know like a, at least a, a video just to focus on one building or a few buildings or one giving you a closer I shot of the prime minister's house once again i don't i highly doubt that the Swedish Prime Minister actually uses this day in and day out as his residence. I think it's really symbolic. Um, but let me take you a little bit closer, just so you could see here. Uh, and it's called the Sager House. The Sager House dates back to the 18th century, two, two pavilion. Um, you guys could pause. Here's that. another view of the Parliament building from the other side of the lake or the river as you want to call it beautiful shot of the bridge over there beautiful shot of the bridge that i was just standing I on i'm going to do a video and it's probably not going to be just one video it's most likely going to be about two maybe two to three parts in the video about um gustav vasa because i find every single thing every castle that i visited every palace i visited it all goes back to him definitely look out for that video guys now I'm in the back uh, alleyways or small streets of Gamlestan and oh, how do I love this place. I mean, look at these beautiful little streets here, guys. I'm going, oh wow, look at this cool little house right here. So I'm going to make my way down this way. If you guys haven't been here, you have to come. 
You really have to come. I hate, I, you know, it's like I sound like a broken record. I'm repeating myself over and over again that you have to come. You have to come. But it is so beautiful, guys. I mean, look over here. <laughs> look at how that one connects down to here, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous, Gamlestan. <laughs> for actually getting me to 600 subscribers and i promise guys i will have something when we hit 1000 thank you guys for taking this journey with me for believing in me for continuing to subscribe to comment to share to like the videos guys i definitely appreciate each and every one of you as you see in all the comments you've commented i respond to each and every one of you because it gives me inspiration to do more things like this so right now guys i am going to head back home and i thank you guys for taking this journey with me through gamlastan i will be having other videos about gamlastan coming up because i always feel like i never get enough when i come down here so on that note guys peace love joy and happiness <music>